Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday Live. Today we are super pumped about talking together about knowing your why. Well, James, so, well, you want to introduce yourself first? Yeah, I am James Curry. I'm with the communication department here at MCHD. But it's also a special day for this program because Wellness Wednesday is experiencing and celebrating one year of doing this platform. Wow. And it has been a lot of effort, mm -hmm. a lot of work, yeah. right? Preparing it, those it has, outlines it has been. and resources. <laughs> here, here is a short list of all the topics that we have yeah. covered. Do you remember? Microscopic list. Yeah, I, only I can see. Do you remember some of the topics? Why don't you refresh my memory? <laughs> okay, well. I'm Virginia, by the way. The very first one we ever did, which is so fitting for today, is how to de-stress. Boy, do I need that every day. <laughs> now, the ones that um, people watch the most, if you're curious, we talked about teen support. Teen support, yeah. Was, that was about a year ago. And then not too long ago, we talked about hypertension. Remember? And High you, blood pressure. You took your blood pressure live. Yes. But my most favorite one was humor. We really <laughs> nailed it with the humor segment. Uh, that one. I had a spontaneous teeth. trick. Uh, you've really thrown me for a loop. But speaking of humor, I do have to share this. Uh, you know, you and I were talking, we, it wasn't too long ago, we were talking. And, you know, we talked about a lot of the pitfalls that we both experienced for a year of doing this mm -hmm. and how we've kind of become victims of our own success, you know. Like, I've been so busy, you've been busy because of this program that I'm either on this side or I'm on the other side of the camera, but we're both working on it. Right. But what I thought was really funny uh, is not too long ago, you were sitting in my office and we were talking mm -hmm. and you were getting kind of discouraged and you looked at me and you had like this epiphany and you said you, loudly, you said, but James, it's our baby. And <laughs> just, it, it just then this lady was walking down the hall pushing a broom and she looked in my office and she very quickly looked away and walked and I thought that was really that was the, funny that was one that of the funniest was things. Funny. but no it is not our baby meaning you know it's our <laughs> ground up project <laughs> that was it came out totally wrong if, right if you had ever wanted to walk in the middle of a conversation that would be the one to walk into the yeah. middle of but um but, you know, like I said just a second ago, we're victims kind of our own success. And, you know, even the state of Alabama thought this program was so important that they wanted to use one of your segments as a teaching tool. That's how effective it is. But That's just to give cool. you some boring numbers on All right, your James, success. we got to get to know your why topic. So we're getting Good to job. It. You have had, in a year's time, over 15,000 views of this program. Wow. That's 1,250 or so views a month. That's about 41 people a day. I don't, wow. I don't think I even talk to four people a day, and there's 41 people a day that are watching this program. Well, i got to say, so, that so is people, exciting. There are people that is watching. Exciting. There, there are it's people. the most exciting when I have somebody come up to me whether I know them or whether I don't know them, and they share with me their own personal advantage of watching the segments. Because we do look to mm -hmm. center it around something people care about, uh, whether that be de-stressing or, you know, just living healthy. Um, we've got so many topics. What, what all have we done? Discipline, you know? Um, yeah. Not love, only that, love time and management. Love and relationships. So, relationships. So let's really recap. Good. But this, anyway, let's thank recap you. this last year. So you got engaged this yeah. last year during this, and I had two dental visits, just to put it in perspective. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no, Time I, flies, I, yeah, it? yeah, good for you, and you know, good for me too, of course. But um, so, what is your why? 
What is your why? Okay, like and we are at five minutes, and now we're getting into the real topic. But um, thank you, James. <laughs> I, I think, you know, that actually goes with one Wellness Wednesday we did on celebration. You know, it's good to celebrate um, your accomplishments, celebrate something that you finished, you know, but we are not done with Wellness Wednesday. No. Um, and with that regard, we are going to be sharing a new Wellness Wednesday once a month. Um, but we're going to keep it going. So knowing your why primarily embraces purpose. So oftentimes when we're on autopilot, when we're stressed, when we're going into work, coming home, we get in a state of just the unknown with why we're doing all this in the first place. But a great way to persevere is to go back to why you started the venture or the job or the marriage or whatever else in the first place. So, James, what do you think about that? Do you think that could be helpful in mm -hmm. really kind of getting someone to the point of what really matters and possibly yeah, even... Absolutely. Yeah. You, you know, that's... That should be your main or one of your main, um, you know, motivations. Why right. Do you, why do you get up in the morning? Why do you do what you do? Um, but like I said, victims of our own success. I was at church last week and they asked me to rearrange the tables and chairs and I did mm -hmm. such a good job. So now I'm the table and chair arranger. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, my, my why is, well, you know, because I like to volunteer. And, but it's your why is different for right. every person right Right. so what we're talking about really is meaning and if you reset and think about that that can really help with perseverance and endurance but I'm gonna give you another tip that I sure didn't come up with myself um, a, a speaker and a researcher who's actually a clinical social worker named Brene Brown, some of you I know have heard of her because she's amazing, um, talks about boundaries. That without boundaries, nothing is sustainable. So what are boundaries? It's, in your opinion, to you, what's okay and what's not okay. So with anything, especially when you have a lot of skills that people can see, they're going to want you. They're going to want you to do this and want you to do that. And if you say yes to everything and everybody, you're going to get burnout, you're going to get resentful, and you're going to get bitter. So one thing she says in her video, which we're going to attach to this, please watch it, it's awesome, is, you know, she became a little less sweet, but a little more loving because her relationships became more authentic because she was being real. Yes, she can do that. No, she cannot do that, but she loves you. So um, the reason we're talking about this is even us as an agency, you know, in the healthcare profession, a lot of us experience burnout. A lot of us um, really just feel like we're on autopilot and we're, we've extended ourselves to help people so much to the point where we lose ourselves. So if you want to get back to baseline, if you want to go back to home base, remember your why, what made you, what got you in this position in the first place, and try your best to have boundaries. What do you think? I agree with you completely. And one thing I learned from you a long time ago is it's okay to say no. Yeah. That's one of the most powerful words that you can say. It doesn't mean that you don't care yeah. about the situation. It just means that you're being selective about you. You know, your time is valuable also, too. It is. I mean, it's a respect yeah. for yourself mm -hmm. and for your relationships, right? So what And is, there have been times where I've said no. Yeah. Hadn't there? Oh, yeah. This is lots of Are times. Are you going to say what you, what you call me as far as or, my nickname? Well, that's your dad's nickname that you told me he gave you. He agrees. You are you are the little bulldog. <laughs> you attach yourself to the project and, and you don't let Gotta go. Keep the vision. And uh, I I have to agree with him wholeheartedly Good. on that Good. on that uh, nickname Good. for sure. But 
Yeah, some takeaways, I think, like you just mentioned, know your why, know when to say no, and it's okay to say no. Yeah, and, you know, we're all just figuring it out. And I've really said this a lot. None of us have it fully figured out. So remember to lean in to the people that you love the most. Lean into your support. Talk about it. Talk to people that you really know that care about you. And, um, you know, it helps us be kinder, nicer. Um, the more in touch we are with our why and with ourselves and our needs. So that's really all I got. Anything else that you wanted to share? I'm sure people are asking, why did they both wear blue? <laughs> Uh, it was that a was total coincidence. It was completely random. Nope, yeah. not kidding. Yeah. But, you know, the numbers here, they, they don't lie. They speak for themselves. We know, that, we know that you all are watching. We know that this program on Wednesday is making a difference. Virginia's heard feedback. We've got the numbers. We, we've got all of the analytics that prove it. So um, get in touch with Virginia. Get in touch with us here at the health department. Yeah. See how we can how we can help you. And I'm going to piggyback that. You know, I learned a long time ago, a couple of years ago, that I cannot make a real difference that's really impactful for the community alone. And so my why for even engaging in this venture was because I knew I had a team and it has been a team effort. And my why and continuing this beyond a year, I and mean, we got plenty in our mm -hmm. archive that we could just say, good job, you know, we're going to move on now. Um, but my why is we have a team. And I know it's not just me doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my why, although it is really challenging in considering all my other duties um, as an administrator and a counselor. But this is something of value. So that's why we're going to keep pushing, right? Correct. All right. Well, thank you guys that watched. Um, and we hope that you have a wonderful week. We hope that this was um, helpful in some way. And please check out the links that we're going to be adding to this video. I think you'll love it. One is knowing your why. And the other is about boundaries. Have a wonderful Wellness Wednesday. Thanks again for watching.